Let's draw the molecular structure here for 2,3. We're talking dimethylbutane. So the first thing we notice, it ends in A-N-E. When it ends in A-N-E, we're talking about an alkane. So we're gonna have all carbons and hydrogens attached with single bonds. But, that means we'll have four. So we're gonna have four carbon atoms all attached with single bonds. Let's draw that. So we have our carbons and we've labeled them one through four. These lines here, they go to hydrogen atoms. So this is just butane right now. So dimethyl, that means we're gonna have two methyl groups and they're gonna be on the second and the third carbon. So the methyl group, that's just CH3. So on the second carbon and on the third carbon, we're gonna replace the hydrogen, one of the hydrogens here, with the CH3 group, like this. So this is the structure for 2,3-dimethylbutane. We have our butane, four carbons in a row, and on the second and the third carbons, we have methyl groups right here and here. We could put them both on top, but it's a little crowded. I'll just put it down here. Let's look at this in three dimensions real quick so you really understand it. So here's the structure for 2,3-dimethylbutane, and we have one, two, three, four, four carbons on the second one, that's the methyl group up here, and then down here on the one, two, three, third, we have another methyl group. What's interesting about this molecule is you can put it different ways, and no matter how you count the four carbon chains, one, two, three, four, on the second and the third carbon, you're gonna have that methyl group. Let's go back. Sometimes you'll see the structure written like this here, where we have carbons here and here, and again, you have one, two, three, four, and on the second and the third, we have our methyl groups. This is Dr. B with the structure for 2,3-dimethylbutane. Thanks for watching.